Welcome everybody, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to add more games to your NES, SNES and Genesis minis using a program called HackGCE. At the time of this video the newest version is 3.9.3. I'll have a link in my description to the GitHub where you can get HackG. Just go to the GitHub page and click Installer EXE. Once you have the installer double click it and choose if you want any start menu shortcuts or desktop shortcuts. Click next and choose the folder where you're going to install HackG. Then click install. Once that finishes, go to the folder where you installed HackG and click HackG.exe. After the welcome messages, your screen should look something like this. To get started, you have to have a compatible cable with data lines to hook your system up to your PC. The cables that came with the NES and SNES should work fine, but the cable that came with the Genesis or Mega Drive will not work. I do have a link in my description for cables I've been using for years with no problems. The method for connecting the Nintendo and Super Nintendo are the same, but it's a little bit different for the Genesis. I'll explain in more detail in a minute. For the NES and SNES, plug in one side of your cable to your PC and the other into the Mini. Go to the Kernel tab, click Install Repair. It'll ask if you want to flash the custom kernel, click Yes. The next step is to hold down the reset button on your system and then push power. Once the notification comes up that the kernel is being uploaded, you can let go of the reset button. Once the installation is complete, you will get this done message. Click OK. If the light in the bottom left corner is green, that means you did everything correctly and your system is connected to HackG. For the Genesis Mini, the steps are a little bit different. Turn the power switch to the on position. Hold down the reset button. And then while holding reset, plug in the USB cord into your system. You're going to listen for a chime and as soon as that chime is done, let go of reset. The timing is a little picky, so don't get frustrated if you don't get it on your first try. You only have to install the custom kernel your first time. It doesn't have to be done every time you connect your system to your PC. Now we're going to add our games. If you're adding the games native to the system, so Super Nintendo for Super Nintendo, Nintendo for Nintendo, it's very straightforward. You can go to the Add More Games button at the bottom and navigate to the folder where you keep your ROMs, or you can just drag and drop your ROMs into Hatchie itself. For NES, SNES, and Genesis games, the box art and descriptions will be added automatically. Once you have your games in HackG, the last step is to hit this synchronize selected games with mini button at the bottom. If you want to play games not native to your system, so in this case I want to play Nintendo games on my Super Nintendo Mini, this is what you do. Add the games like you did before, and this time go to the Modules tab and to the KMFD's Mod Hub. Go to the KMFD RetroArch tab and select which theme you'd like to use for RetroArch. Click Download Module. Next, go to the KMFD Cores tab and scroll down till you get to your system. We have three Nintendo emulators to choose from, FCEU-MM, NES-Topia, or Quick NES. I prefer FCEU-MM. Highlight it and click Download Module again. Close out the Mod Hub, go back into your Modules tab and install extra modules. Put a check mark next to the modules you're going to install and RetroArch, click OK at the bottom. Once they finish installing, you'll get that done message again, click OK. If you go back into the Modules tab and install extra modules, you'll notice your cores and RetroArch have now turned gray. That means they have been installed to the system. Anything you see here that's in gray is already installed. Next, right click your game, go to Select Emulation Core. Click the Show All box in the top corner, highlight your game again, Make sure the correct console is highlighted in this top box and then select the core you're going to use. Click apply and then close. One last thing I like to do to keep my game separated the way I like is go to the view tab, sort by and then console. That way it's easier to navigate your list of games if you have a lot. And that's it. I'm going to have a couple more videos coming out showing you how to install more in-depth games like CD-based games or arcade games on your system as well. And remember, if you're having any trouble or you need help with this, please go to the Rockin' the Classics Discord or subreddit. And that's it for me. As always, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.